mean, admittedly, you wonder how bad inflation is? Yesterday, yes, I had a nice lunch at Taco Bell. Cost me about $28 at Taco Bell for lunch. People need to pay for those things, and they do that by getting jobs and getting in the economy and getting active and getting involved. Wait a minute. You spent $28 at yeah. Taco Bell for just yourself? <laughs> for lunch, yeah, it's, really? it's true. Okay. Neil Cavuto couldn't believe it. That guy's name, Scott uh, Scott Martin is that guy's name. And he just complained about the inflation and the price of food and everything. I went to Taco Bell, I spent $30. To be fair, he said he spent $28 at Taco Bell, bro. I know fast food is not cheap like we always consider it to be. But I think this is a little bit egregious. So you know what happened? We have a crack team here and they uh, do dug deep. They, speaking of deep dives, Jordan, they dove deep to find out exactly what you can get from Taco Bell for 28 effing dollars. And um, I want you to again, keep your stomachs in mind as you think about this. So $28 at Taco Bell gets you nine Chipotle Ranch grilled chicken burritos. They're three bucks each. See if you can pack nine of those into your stomach. There's more, maybe you want something a little bit bigger. Maybe more specialty items, so you don't have to have as many. Three spicy double steak grilled cheese burritos you can get. Uh -uh -uh. Also a Chipotle Ranch grilled chicken burrito and three Mountain Dew Baja Blasts. Now again, to be fair to those who may eat all this, you don't have to get three Mountain Dew Baja Blasts. You can get a Mountain Dew Baja Blast, maybe you can get the cherry, then maybe you can get the strawberry too. Sometimes they have happy hour where you can get the frost, the, the slushies in Mountain Dew Blasts as well. It's amazing, but it still only costs a dollar. Adding to your $28 fee. There's more though. Maybe you want to go small. Maybe you're driving for longer distances and you need something that's not as messy and you can quickly jam into your face. 19 times though for the 19 cheesy roll ups that you can get for 28 bucks as long as you add the cinnamon twists at the end if you're a fan of dessert. Um, <laughs> you Taco Bell fan? Taco fan? <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> I love it. I love the graphic design. Also, just <laughs> uh, cheers all around. Look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a contrarian. I'm with this guy. He wants to live <laughs> moss. Like, let him. Like, it's let him eat a lot. I don't, I don't care. I don't see what the big deal is. It's kind of funny. But all these people were like cracking on him, and he's like, like, just oh, why are you? Why are you spending twenty eight dollars at Taco Bell? Because it tastes good. That's why. Like, what, what do you want? Like, at also, what point? My first thought was that he just got it delivered. But maybe if he, if oh. he didn't, then he's just eating a lot, which good for him. Live Moss, man. Maybe it's the delivery fees. So he should have a beef with the delivery fees because by the way, I hate all these delivery things. I'm still old school. I'm like, hey, somebody wants some food, I'm going to pick it up. I'm just, I'm still there. Um, but by the way, again, of that 28 bucks worth of 19 cheesy roll ups, you might have a problem that this one particular person had. I'm gonna go through this really fast because one California woman, she submitted this complaint to Iwaspoisoned.com. Talking about Taco Bell, a local Taco Bell where this happened to her, where she was laid out. She goes, I feel like I'm on the brink of death. I ate four crunch wraps <laughs> from there yesterday, and I haven't been able to move without vomiting since. I think I know the problem. It feels like everything is moving in slow motion, and I just want this to end. It's been 24 hours. Symptoms, she lists, vomiting. Uh, uh, thankfully, not in that particular picture, but some people wondered, uh, Anonymous 6912. Nice, says, ma'am, that is not food poisoning. You just ate half a kilo of sodium. <laughs> it tastes good. At what point does it stop tasting good and start feeling like death and vomiting is what I wanna know. It's like an hour after, I think. <laughs> it's just, look, it's, it's, I don't eat it a lot. I usually save it for like nights that my buddies and I like have set aside for like a long night of Fortnite or something like that. Uh -huh. We'll all get it and it's like a camaraderie thing. But like it's good going down, and then like an hour later, you're like, "Why did I do that?" But it, it's just like it tastes good. So everyone I, has. I, I'm, I'm still on this guy's side. Everyone has their guilty pleasures. I get it. And as a matter of fact, for you East Coasters and Midwesterners out there, because I grew up in St. Louis and Detroit, uh, every time I go back to Michigan, 100% of the times I'll go back to Michigan, I get off the airplane, I get in uh, my my sister's and brother-in-law's car, and I was go hit me to the nearest White Castle because I'm ordering a sack of ten. Cheese burgers, and I run through them, and they do they they do me pretty well too. It's okay. I I don't end up vomiting for 24 hours.